Have you ever wondered how to write your own Sevianas piece? And although there are nice videos about analyzing the structure and analyzing harmonic rhythm, it just seemed a little bit too complicated. Yes, I don't want my videos to be put into the museum and collect dust, because what they really are are a little handy tool to write your own Sevianas, to understand it better and to make it easier. And that's what we did live on Twitch. Within 33 minutes, we wrote the thing you heard in the intro. And here is how we did it. In the analysis for harmonic structure, we took 15 Seviana pieces and looked for similarities and found out that there are some strong tendencies. This way I could find out the most common harmony for almost every bar and narrow it down to what to use and restrict myself to use only those harmonies in my little DIY. So what I first did here is build the ground structure. I took the exact amount of bars that are needed and wrote down the harmonies that were clear from the analysis. There were just a couple of bars that were not clear, like this here, second bar of the coupler. Um, so I was able to choose whether to use dominant, subdominant or tonic function here. I think there's one more bar. Yes, there is. So every bar other than these two was predetermined and I had to restrict myself to these harmonies. The next thing I did was write the intro. And the main goal was to keep it as simple as possible. So I took just the chords that are needed, A minor, E major, and that's about it. I played around a little rhythmically to make sure, hey dancers, get ready, Salida comes. Da, 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 da. At this point, you want to keep it as simple as possible. It was a little too boring for me, so I took the last step as the next step and make it a little more complicated, but that's just a rhythmic difference. The harmonies didn't change, if you look at it. It's absolutely fine to stay as simple as possible until the end, and I would suggest to do so. For the Celida, uh, I thought most of the Sevianas I found while analyzing concentrate on one technique in particular. So there are Sevianas for arpeggios, Sevianas for Picado, Sevianas for Purga, etc. I decided to go for Sevianas with arpeggios. So the Salida looks like this. It's an arpeggio up. And I decided to switch from A minor to E on the second beat and if we look more closely into the analysis we see that this happens in other pieces as well. So for the second half, the rhythmic part of the Salida, I just took the ending of the intro, um, switched it up a little bit but nothing too fancy. Still, you can make it more simple and just play eighth notes. That's fine, that's absolutely fine. Before I went to the coupler though, I decided to look at the ending of the couplers, at the ending of this piece. It ends on beat one with the tonic, A minor. The last three bars are of rhythmic nature and almost always the same as the second half of the Salida. So, now that we have talked about everything else, let's go to the main part, the coupler. The coupler, or the main part, tells us which harmonies we have to use except for these two bars. And that's good, so we have more creative freedom here. And that's what I came up with. More arpeggios, a little bit of melody and more arpeggios. This part is stolen from Sapika's Faruka because I really like this chord a lot. And other than that, I went for a lot of diminished arpeggios because you always can use them for the dominance. I decided to stay at the dominant function and here I decided to stay at the tonic function to keep it simple. Simple is key. Can't say that too often. Um, coincidentally, when I was at bar 16, I was happy to get an email from guitars from Spain that my order was transmitted to the manufacturer. <laughs> ah, there is a new instrument coming soon. and I'm very happy about it. For the third coupler it is absolutely fine to use the same as in the first two just make sure that the tenth bar is the last one so one two three four five six seven eight nine and on the one of the tenth of the coupler this piece has to end um, remember the first analysis 40 bars plus variable intro that's important 
And of course you can go crazy with the harmonies as well, but this is the basic structure and this should help you a lot write your own Sevianas. If you do so, please let me know. Reach out to me in the Flamenco Guitar Discord and I'm happy to see your results. Have a good one and see you next time.